can abandon the point and maybe come right back. Suzu finally does control. A brief moment, but not too long later. Tomoya says, hello, I would like the red point, please. And now we've got the fish fam over here. Suzu is by himself. He's got a bunch of eliminations. Oh the ball of the cuddle crew is coming out. They're trying to wreck him. He picks off Sandy, but unfortunately, he does fall as well. That was terrifying. They all came over the ramp at the same time. If you're just joining us here, don't forget, we did increase the score limit up to 3,000. So if you're wondering, the Raven Revenge, they still got a ways to go, even though they are in the lead as it stands. I'm also keeping my eye out on the Llama Record Company. They're down at 300 ish points they're gonna claim 300 right now and what they do they always wait until the last moment until that d point the last point that opens up in the center and they make a concerted push I think that may be very very strong because in the first couple of games as the fish fam or uh, as the little whip warriors trying to make the push here they're gonna get shut down the first couple of games they just controlled and every single person was on that d point at the same time they built their entire base out at the perfect moment, they were waiting for the time to pounce on that last point. Still three, two minutes until that starts to spawn. Oh, he's gonna launch the Little Whip Warrior. He is, in fact, gonna shut down Taco. And look at this, across the way, Magma gets picked off, and the Little Whip Warriors are back on the green point. Dude, I'm, I'm very curious to see what happens when that middle point opens up, because don't forget, it's 12 points per player of your squad on that point if you're uncontested. So you can very well see an entire squad say, the moment that's ready, jump down. We're just gonna try and get a massive influx of like 48 points. Could happen every single second down there. It's gonna net you that, so it has to put, put to an end immediately. It seems that this point right here keeps getting under contention by like multiple teams, the Fish yeah. Fam, Funky Fighters, and of course the color crew who get cleaned out. So they're not earning anything really from all fighting at the same time. One team ends up coming out on top but then it all happens again. So maybe some timing issues here in terms of synchronizing the push on this point specifically. Yeah, I mean, th this gets way more hectic when anyone can score points, right? And the Fish Fam have been doing a great job sticking together, going in as uh, pairs, duos, if you will, and trying to shut everyone down, but that's only gonna get you so far. It kind of breaks down, too, when everybody can score because there's so much that more important. If you're by yourself to stay on the point in the previous iterations, if you're by yourself, you get off the point because right. you can't even score. But now you have to stick around. Look at the slaps coming out. Lachlan does take out scissors, but does fall as well. Now Clytex is just trying to get back into the fray. Get himself those height with the impulses. And now don't forget, they have a limited number of builds. It's about 100, I believe. But right now, man, you just need to be turning your attention left and right, trying to eliminate as many players as you possibly can. This remix is shaking the very foundation of this mode. And Clydex goes in, he's gonna start trying to take him down. Did not go his way, though. See, this is what I'm talking about. Finally, the Fish Fam control this point that the Cutter Crew and Funky Fighters were fighting for so hard. And they control it with all four players, so you can see their score rising significantly every second there. At the same time, the Llama Record Company with an evenly timed push as well, but Rubius comes in. Chicken Champions take out one, but I don't think that's going to be enough. I think the Llama Record Company, no, they don't hold. Or do they? <laughs> or do they? That is the question. It looks like, unfortunately, the answer is no, as the Chicken Champions are rolling in on the Sunshine Soldiers. Attacks are going off left and right, but Danian is just where, where uh, it's just not falling. Just keeps eliminating left and right, getting a little bit of siphon. The timing of that push from that took out the Llama Record Company might have actually worked out in their favor because they're all going to respawn together. Five seconds for this D point to spawn. You can already see they're hunting. End of blood, Rubius, Carnifex, they're all going for it because they know the importance. If they can all stand in there at the same time, all the impulses come through before anybody can even build a base, build some protection against them. It's pure chaos down here on the D point. And look, if you're, if you're another team on the outside looking in, as all these players are just jumping in toward that center point, you do what Gotaga is doing. Let them all fight it out. Let's just sit on the point. No one seems to be paying attention to the fact that we're about halfway through what we need to win. Let them all fight it out. Don't don't make any don't make any sudden moves, right? Don't make it. Don't be the distraction to have someone go. Oh wait, there is a point up there. That's the we need to go get those guys. I, I love what they did just there. They forced the one player there, but hold on, the funky fighters are all in. They have oh a base. My. There's no impulse. They are climbing the leaderboard hard. They're at third right.
right now. They're going to overtake that kick. If this does not get shut down soon, the Ravens' revenge may have trouble looming. And look at this Llama Record Company. Hand of Blood is trying his hand and slaying these players, but it does not go his way. And Tamoya comes in. No Llama Record Record Company. They stay strong. They're still racking up the points. Scissor says, no, 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 friends. This is not allowed. You cannot continue to do this. Clytex also wants in on this as well. And Scissors meets at a timely end. Meanwhile, the Ravens' revenge have not They're stopped climbing off. points. If they have three, four members up here, it's about even to one player on the, that D point. So just continuing to stay there. Finally, the Little Whip Warriors, Ninja, and crew are going to clean that up and put an end to it just before they hit 2,000. But on the other side, Chicken Champions are looming. They have four players on a single point, not the mega point in the center. See what's going on with them. They're all lurking. I don't think anybody really is too worried about them, but you know, with all four players here, it could all of a sudden become a nuisance. Back down on that center point. You've got Hand of Blood trying his hand again. Did not go his way. Kotu is here, though, for the Funky Fighters. He was able to rack up a small amount of points, but still, every little point you can gather is going to make a difference going in the end. And look, Otaga and Raven's Revenge are back on the point. But so are the Funky Fighters. There was three for just a moment. Chaos is down, just breaking out down on the center point right now, Bala. What is this? Literally every single sword bearer and almost every single player here from the Llama Record Company is using those tactical shotguns and getting in. But again, the Ravens Revenge are on point with four players, just shooting down, throwing impulses where they can, and just making sure they're accruing all those points. Meanwhile, the D point, nobody has gotten anywhere since the Funky Fighters were left there for so long. It all depends how this all Unfolds, hold on, they're trying to get a base. I think they might finally break through. No, they lose and trade off evenly every single time. Four minutes left on that timer and follow. These guys have been uncontested. It's just now that the Little Whip Warriors want to try and make the push. But look at Gotaga. He's literally just slicing through all these ice cream cones. I was going to try and say a hot knife through butter, but the, this is ice cream. It doesn't quite work that way. It's crazy how nobody except the Little Whip Warriors are trying to contest the Raven's revenge right now. They are sitting on the point by themselves with four, but again, the Funky Fighters in the center with four players. They are not even making any noise. They're not showing that there's anybody there. They are rising so fast. Finally, Four Turtle comes in. He spots them out, but that's not going to be enough. They shut him down immediately. They're still on the point. They need to just box this up. They need to bunker down. Look at this. They just overtook the first spot. Someone needs to do something about this. Guys, they're taking up a game. The you have to go in the this center. The they get it. get it. Oh, my oh, God. Funky Fighters again take the win here on Sky Station Showdown, the first match of the Golden Games. And that is a huge victory leading into the rest of these. Just unbelievable. For, for so long, Gotaga and Raven's Revenge sat on the green point completely uncontested. And then for a moment, everyone forgets about the center point, and that's enough for all four members of the Funky Fighters to sit on the point and just rise above everyone else. And by the time everyone could kind of figure out what was going on, it was too late. They stole away the first golden game. Ridiculous that nobody was able to spot that out. It seemed like Four Turtle was going to say, okay, guys, they're all on the point. Everybody start doing everything you can to stop them because they, he saw all four members. They went from less than 1,000 once the D point was out to all the way up to win. And it was 400 points between them and the Ravens' revenge at the end there. Right. But you do have to also think about who else came very close in second. Ravens' revenge, who's in third. We'll be able to find out in a bit with the standings, but... Just an unbelievable performance there from the Funky Fighters to realize exactly what must be done. That was the second time they completely boxed up that entire D point. Yeah, and just completely uncontested. But that's it for the first of three golden games. And for the Funky Fighters, they secure that win. But for now, let's send it back over to Pookie. She's standing by with the winners. Pookie, down to you. Thank you so much, Zeke. I am down here with the Funky Fighters. Another victory. I feel like I've been talking to you guys all day but how did you find that remix game because those rules were a little bit different than what you were used to so what was your strategy going into that one Huzi? I mean everything was so like 
unexpected. We were last and we came first because we got the middle. Uh, the point system, because every player gets points. And so we've been, I guess it was so exciting. So exciting. So exciting indeed. Now Raven's Revenge was in first place for most of that match. You guys knew that you had to come up from behind, which you absolutely did. But I kind of just want to talk a little bit about how there are three teams tied right now for first place and the winners of this set will be taking home that additional million dollars of prizing. So I don't want to put too much pressure on you guys, but what is your strategy going into the next game? Are you going to stay the same? Are you going to change things up? Are you going to go for the middle again? Um, probably. Yeah, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing and uh, as long as this works, we're just going to keep it up. For sure, sounds like a great strategy. Finally, over here to you. When you heard that there was a remix uh, kind of blind side come in, what was your first reaction to hearing that? Yellow, go to yellow circle and win. <laughs> Just win. I love it. It's so easy. It's such a great concept. You know, we talk about it all day, all of these things we break down, but at the end of the day, you just got to win. Back to you guys at the desk. Pookie with the most insightful knowledge you'll ever need in your entire life. It doesn't matter if you can just win. Just win. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. You're winning. I'm trying. Winning. We're doing all the winning best here at the World Cup. We all are, in fact. But so are these players that have taken the stage. Now, don't forget, those llamas are going to be playing a big factor in how these the, pri the final million-dollar prize pool is divvied out. And Puki touched on it perfectly, actually. Right now, there's a three-way tie. Yep. All right, and that's something we need to take a look at with those standings, just to give you the refresher. So, Funky Fighters, Fish Fam, and the Chicken Champions all have that silver llama. Now, don't forget, every single match they play, they're also walking away with the prize pool that they're splitting four ways. That part's awesome. But man, that extra million dollar prize pool at the end will be huge. So either the Funky Fighters, Fish Fam, or Chicken Champions need to win that Golden Llama for one of them to win, or if you're on the outside looking in, you just want that Gold Llama. Because if you win that Llama, that means you and your team actually win that pot. Yep. We win the one million dollars final prize for the Creative World Cup. So all is on the line right now. Those prizings as they shake up into the next sets are gonna be so crucial to keep an eye out. The Funky Fighters taking a good first lead. Yeah. It's not enough. We've seen it time and time again in these first matches of the set. If people who win the first game don't end up coming through all the way at the end. So they have to have a consistently good performance into the next game, which is the Junkyard Juke, and then into the next game too, which is the World Run. That's right. And they're all golden. All the golden games are the All remakes. the golden games. Not the golden boys, just the golden games. I love you, buddy. Uh, now, don't forget, if you guys are watching and maybe this is the first time you're tuning in, don't forget you can watch also at Fortnite.com slash watch. If you're watching in-game, you can do that as well. There, if you go to Fortnite.com slash watch, you can actually kind of hone in on a specific team. There's 10 different feeds to take a look at, and you can say, like, you know what? I'm all about the fish fam. I'm just going to watch their perspective. You can do that. Head on over to Fortnite.com slash watch. Take a look. Here are a breakdown of your feeds right there on screen. It's an incredible new feature. I love to use it. I checked it out on my phone earlier. And just unbelievable, seriously, to see all the different POVs, to see the first and second place POVs, and then also to be able to pick who you want to watch. You can yep. watch Lachlan in feed eight. You can watch Kotaga in feed four. So just an awesome feature. Go check it out. It's amazing. Yeah, for sure. Now, don't forget, guys, we are one third of the way through the Golden Games. First one, Sky Station Shonan is in the books, and the Funky Fighters were in fact the winner. Now we move on to the second game, and that is the Prop Hunt, AKA Junk Yard Juke. And don't forget, the remix, 10 point props. Only, only the large ones. You can't go with the, you know, little crowbar. You can't go with the wood planks. You can't go with any of that. And there is one of the prizes for the teams that won before. We've got 10 seconds until the game launches, Zeke. It's the second game of our Golden Games here, guys. It's time. Two, one, the game begins. Now, just a refresher. We can only be 10 point props. So let's just, well, let's break down what these 10 point props are. You've got a snowman. By the way, there's no snow anywhere else on the map. You've got a Christmas tree with the gold bomb on top. Nope, that sticks out like a sore thumb. A giant gnome? Well, 
I mean, it kind of blends in depending on where you stand. You know, if you hide something that's uh, behind something that's blue, you'll, you'll, you can make the hide. A giant teddy bear, you've got the target, you've got the rusted out car. I mean, you've also got the giant dumpster. So, you know, as you kind of scan your eyes across the map, you know, you can see things like the dumpster, the rusted out car, the target. These are things that could be... Whoa. All right, Kaz. All right, this guy is... Uh, guys, he's got the eyes of a hawk. But these props are going to be... They're going to stick out like sword thumbs is what I'm trying to get at. Yep. And a little... Ooh, Kaz, awesome. You see his reaction? Yeah, even Kaz realize. is like, ooh, like, wait, Scissors was there. He is finding everybody right now. Good vision. And it is interesting. You got to make sure you know who the guards are at the beginning of this. It's the Little right. Whip Warriors on the bottom level. They're clearing out house right now. They're making sure nobody is approaching. Only three, four teams have scored right now. To go trying to find people that there was definitely someone back there that was there's not supposed to be three trucks back there i don't think uh but uh you know in playing this uh, the best way to kind of go about this is every time that those those uh blinds come up you want to instant reload right then on the spot yes you can try to make blind fires unless you're certain you're like no i know where my crosser is that's a player take the shot absolutely but when those blinds come up you want to reload you want to have as many shots as possible before that next uh I guess Shade comes back up, right? And the Ravens' revenge being the other guards, by oh. the way. Nice shot there from Taldak. Yeah, you mentioned when the when the blinds, I've been calling it the black, when the black comes up, take the time to reload and make sure you're taking the time like Taldak to stop and try to remember exactly what you saw. Don't move your POV, don't move your camera at all as you try to recognize exactly what changed. You've got to use the uptime of your vision to take as many shots as possible to clear out what you think is possibly a prop that player came down from below because he hit one of those springboards i use it moving forward sand as well they're all going with the targets i use it gets in just barely because taltak missed his shot man this is really good for the funky fighters they've taken themselves a nice early lead it's only 20 points nothing substantial yet but if they could do this every single round again another round another big prop going in they're at 50 30 points ahead of the pack and the only three teams behind them fish fam cuddle crew and the chicken champions and look time is done so that's it so don't forget raven's revenge they have already been guarded so going forward all they have to do is try and rack up points this is going to be huge going forward the round is going to reset we'll get two new guards on deck you've got the chicken champions and the Funky Fighters. So now they can try to lock out other players from scoring. And it depends on how well they do, right? Because again, these these are big 10 point props. There's a lot of them as well, you know. they The props outnumber you pretty substantially. And if you recall the first game where the Ravens Revenge were actually in second to the Funky Fighters. So like you said, being able to take your time and make sure that you know exactly what you need to do Kind of gives them a little bit of an advantage, but the Funky Fighters really did come out to a huge lead in the first, scoring five points, or five total. See if they can hold it down right now and keep the lead as it is. The Chicken Champions at 20 are not going to be able to close the gap, but we'll see if the Fish Fam, the Cuddle Crew, and everybody else can approach the Funky Fighters right now. They're trying to stop that from happening. Well, Scissors did just drop in with that 10-point prop, who's closing that gap. If they can get another 10-point prop in, they're going to be tied with the Funky Fighters, but they actually have to make it there to the center to make it into the incinerator. That is going to be make or break. We have two minutes left on the clock. And, you know, my first instinct for this would be, you know what, I just got to go. I just got to try and run out as much as I can. That's actually counterintuitive. Right now, you want to just be taking baby steps, right? Just making sure you can secure those points is crucial. All the players right now, you can see them down below trying to get the shots as possible. They're racking up the eliminations right now. I don't think they Fish Fan may have gotten one through. Taldak gets one through. That's going to even the gap a little bit. Here's the Funky Fighters again, just blind shooting through the black. And remember, 130 to go oh. on this guard. Fish Fan has tied it up with that score right there. And so has Cuddle Crew. They got through two props in. So they're one prop behind right now. Oh, action. Uh, you got to be careful, buddy. One Jamming prop behind. Cats. There's a little whip coming through as well so all of a sudden these teams are letting a lot of props through or maybe it's the props who figured out their timings figured out their tendencies figured out when they stop shooting one minute to go here 
Here's Ninja. He's got a car. This is one of the most difficult obstacles or props to get in. Uh, no. don't, don't stack on top of each other. Oh, so dangerous. Because when you see things like that tight together, you're like, uh, oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. The bumper. You gotta land. <gasps> he was moving. Oh. Unfortunate there. You've got to press that control key at the last second to be able to make sure you get through. Scissors makes it through. Dude, That's a lot of points racking up. They're at 80 yeah. now, 30 points ahead of the Funky Fighters, which is unfortunate for their guard watch. They, 30 seconds to go. They've taken the lead here, 30 po 20 points now. Uh, excuse me, 30 points ahead. That, make that 40. The numbers are changing like crazy. But right now, Scissors and the Fish Fam, they've got the lead. And this is huge right now. Don't forget the Funky Fighters are in the center, so they can't rack up points. We've got 10 seconds left. These, whoever's out in the field, they need to make it into the incinerator right now. Are they going to have any more points accrue? It doesn't look like anybody's close. That's going to be the round. As the Funky Fighters and the Chicken Champions end up closing out that guard watch. We'll see where the standings end. I did notice something, though, Zeke. So the Ravens Revenge were at zero for that run. They didn't get a single prop through, which is uh, a far cry from their performance on Sky Station Showdown. They were second. Mm -hmm. They need to band together right now. They need to rally and they need to make this happen. Round three begins. You've got the Fish Fam and the Sunshine Soldiers in the middle. So now the Fish Fam, you know, we saw this before. They got this lead, but now they have to try and lock everyone else out from getting points. And as we've clearly seen, it is actually way more difficult than it sounds. And judging by the first run of the Funky Fighters, they got 50 early on. We'll see if they can get and double their score, essentially, to tie up with the Fish Fam. But Sunshine Soldiers also being a guard, and the first two right now ending up on guard watch. Two and a half minutes left on this timer. You see people hitting these hidden little bumpers. So a little surprise in case you've been wondering why have they been flying up. There's little secret... Uh, bumpers that are buried. You can see one right there that looks like a little silver dome. If players touch that, they're actually launched into the sky. And it's a very clear, like, hey, this is a person. They have disguised themselves as a prop. You should probably eliminate them. Two minutes here on the clock. And Fish Fam are just tearing it up. But look, Funky Fighters, they were guards last round. They were behind pretty far. And now they're starting to close up that gap, right? If they can get another three pops, props in within this two-minute timer, they're going to be in a great spot heading into that final round. Tyler trying to hold it down before he gets his last opportunity to go with the props. But here are the Cuddle Crew, and they're going to be on guard watch next. So if they don't oh. solidify this lead very strong right now, it's going to be so difficult. Meanwhile, the Ravens Revenge did finally get a prop in. They could have a final round that could be amazing. We'll continue to watch here for the Cuddle Crew. Llama Record Company and Funky Fighters all earn a point in just a second there. One minute and 20 seconds for this guard watch to end. Cuddle Crew's only a single prop behind. The Funky Fighters are only two, and so are the Llama Record Company. Raven's Revenge is now on the board with a single. That's a Raven. Look at that. Scissors, he's got this on lock. He's got the entire map laid out in his mind, and he, is he can tell the difference. Wait, does he, does he catch two? He did not. Wait, these other two trucks, are they actually going to make it in? They're making it in. <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate. Scissors, they snuck right under his nose. They get in. But it doesn't oh, he hit that person from the blinds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he heard you, Zeke. He knew. Listen. Flexing he, a little bit on everybody. He knows I'm a big fan of his. All right. He knows. He knows. Cuddle crew, they're nice and hidden. All right. Got to watch the bumper. There is one hidden. You see it right there in front? Be careful. You can see it. It's right there. Don't do it. Nope. Never mind. That was, uh, looks seconds. like that was Fish Fan. And it looks like a lot of props are making it towards the center right now. I think I just saw three. Very close. Here's yep. the approach from High. Who is he? Remember, they have to get sorted to get scored. So Tomoya, I think, will be the last prop here. Bensor making a push Ooh. for it. No. But what a push there at the last second. They do all tie up. Three, the top three are tied up at 100. So that means this wow. last round of Junkyard Juke is going to be so crucial. This is very scary heading into round number four. So take a look. In the center of the map, you've got Svenos and his crew. So don't forget, there's three teams tied for first. You've got the Fish Fam, you've got the Funky Fighters, and you have the Cuddle Crew. So basically, 
they are well ahead in the, of the pack, but they're they're fighting each other right now. Little Whip, or excuse me, sorry, the Lava Record Company, and now Little Whip and the Cuddle Crew, they're at 90, so they could close that gap, but they have to work so much harder to do that. You've got the Cuddle Crew in the middle, and this means they're not racking up any points for this round, right? They're just trying to, to keep everyone else from accruing points. And fifth place or lower at this point. If they don't have a good performance, even the Sunshine Soldiers, the, oh, oh. the chicken could go through. Nice shot there from his team. Uh, joining them as well as the Llama Record Company in second place. So second or lower is all they can yep. achieve. So for right now, Llama Record Company, remember, this is they can't accrue points. They literally have to try and stop Fish Bam and the Funky uh, Fighters from racking up points. If they get even one through, they are going to be edged out. Everything is riding on this moment right now. How accurate are they? How quickly and how much do they remember the map? Look at all these props here on the left side of the screen. One just got through with the quest. Little whip, look! They took over, so did Fish Fam. Nice shot there from Alex. Great shot for black. sure. He knew that there was a prop approaching. He knew that he didn't find anything in the last couple of seconds. He knew. Is he going to be able to find this one? You can see he's pre-firing through the black as they all try to approach. What a nice play from Alex. A nice strategy. Now remember, now that the Little Whip and Fish Fam have taken the lead, the Funky Fighters fall to three. And since they got first in the first game, that means it's just more close when you think about the overall standings here. Yeah. Look, Little Whip again, get another prop in. They're pushing ahead, man. These guys are pulling away from the pack right now. Llama Record Company, they've got to just start trying to pick off these props. They've got to keep the fish fam and little whip down maybe have someone else potentially contest but right now man the little whip warriors ninja and his team are just destroying this final round and all the rest of the standings oh. so important as well Svenhaus and co and the llama record co doing a very good job on guard duty right now and besides the top two ending up getting a couple of points they're not letting anybody below them really earn anything a lot of props approaching right now the timing's going out. Ninja gets in with the car, scores, and that just solidifies the lead even further, but I think Fish Fam scored. No, they didn't. Look, oh, first place to Little Whip Warriors. Now there's no tiebreaker involved. 20 seconds to go. Can anybody else score? You just got to go. Do not jump. You just got to go. That's right. Oh, okay. There's another round of points coming through. Little Whip at 150, and look. Taldax right here. That's going to put him at 160 with 10 seconds left. That's the win for sure for the Little Whip Warriors here. And Junkyard Juke as the timer expires as Ninja scores in the final moments, as well as Taldak. The first win for the Little Whip Warriors, and it couldn't come at a better time here, Zeke. That's right, man. Look, don't forget, those Silver Llamas are scattered right now. This puts him in a great spot. If they can get this world run, uh, run win they could secure themselves that gold llama and out of nowhere they could steal away the victory from everyone else around a fantastic showing of the little whip warriors man dude they came out of nowhere they were just on it they flipped the switch and they said you know what we're getting all these props in and we're just gonna get pull away from the pack that's what happened perfect play at the beginning they had the guard defense they didn't let anybody get over close to I think the the Ravens are no the Ravens had zero I'm thinking of uh, the funky fighters had 50 in the first run yeah but nobody else really did anything and the funky fighters ended up starting to slow down they didn't manage to keep up their pace little whip warriors took perfect advantage of that yeah and I mean you could just kind of see that they were very calm coolly collected in the whole thing right they just kind of navigated the map correctly you, you kind of saw it happen a little bit, but there was almost like this clustering that happened. You know, when you've got three rusted cars right next to each other where there clearly is no rusted cars, cars at all, you're like, okay, well, these guys are very clearly props, they, right? They figured it out eventually, though. They did. Separate, approach all in different waves, yep. use the props at the front to kind of, you know, protect so that the guys who are just barely behind you can then make their approach and get two points at least, or at least 20 points in this remix version. Yeah. But great performance for Little Whip. Again, couldn't come at a better time because that puts them in contention for this Golden Llama. And yep. that's the bonus. That is the win. That is the win condition for this Creative World Cup. Well, I think the only thing that we need to do right now is send it down onto the stage. I want to hear from the Little Whip Warriors. So let's go over to Monster, who's standing by with them right now. All right. So, 
All right, so I'm going to be honest. I thought early on the Sky Station Showdown, Ninja Squad specifically, was going to be dominating because of the fact that, you know, the way the qualifiers worked, you guys were out there running shooter trials, and you were struggling. But you guys are finally finding your stride. So let's just touch on it. How does it feel to be in the running? Now you finally got a victory. You're so close. The Golden Llama's on the line. You guys are so close. What do you think about this? Honestly, kind of relieved to be completely honest with you guys, because, I mean, we were kind of nervous the first three sets. I mean, we were yeah. not doing the best, yeah, but now should. we're here. So, I mean, hey, we're in the running, and that's all that matters. All right, so you're in the running. You want to hold this lead, but more importantly, what team do you guys feel you need to shut down? I think it's the Funky Fighters. Is there any other team that specifically, I know we started off, Ninja said the Ravens Revenge, but I don't know. I think things are really shaking up. What squad out here is surprising you so far? Dude, those Ravens, man, like, yesterday we were fighting with them all day. We got the edge on them yesterday, but today they came out and really surprised us. And there you guys have it. So, as you can see, easily things can really shake up here. And just like that, suddenly, it's anyone's game to win. Ninja Squad can take it for all we know. Well, we'll have to see because we have a single golden game left. And in case you've forgotten, it's the world run. And the remix yep. is a single life. That's so brutal. You can't even, <laughs> like, we can't understate how difficult that is going to be. True. I mean, especially when everything is on the line here. Everything matters. Everybody wants to get first in this last match. That's right. And don't forget, I mean, we've, we've been bouncing around, right? We, we started on world run and we saw six teams of eight rack up the 30 coins, but then we moved to Sky Station Showdown. So now you're like, okay, my mind has to go there and be ready for that. Then we moved to Junkyard Juke, and you're like, okay, we'll have to move again. So these guys may not be in a, you know, once you've been doing it back to back, you've almost built up that muscle memory. They may not have that based on this. Yeah, we'll have true. to see, man. Very true. You're kind of rusty when you move on to the world run after these last right? two. Right, right. There's no, <laughs> no mechanics in Junkyard Juke are the same at all in the world run. So we'll have to see if they still are warm for that yeah but hey you know what if you want to play these things don't forget they're actually in game right now they're available as ltms play them through the weekend you've got it till sunday you want to check them out give them a try i'm telling you they are super fun if you get more coins than me i got 14 hit us with the hashtag or tweet at me that's fine i'll hold the l i i respect it i respect it i'm not a, i'm not a death runner i'll be honest i'm not much of a br player either i'm pretty bad actually that's why sundown carries me pretty much the entire time but again man let's let's focus in on these games don't forget uh, let's not talk about how, how terrible i am the gold llama that's what's on the line right now you know i think ninja just actually found out what the, what the remix was there it looked like he had something he was surprised he's like wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute what no definitely should have known before but here we go into the world run all the players are loading up and getting ready. It's so important to make sure that everything is perfect because you have one chance, one opportunity here to make a difference. If you mess up, it's over. That's right. So I'm looking for four turtle. I'm looking for the players like Scissors, Suzu, Suzu who completely clutched up for the Fish Fan, both of them yep. together. And really, it's not on the shoulders of one player. Even more so, right? We were talking about it earlier. The entire team needs to perform. But here, when they could be going out early, everybody needs to step up. Every single person. That's right. This is it. The final opportunity to try and claim the Golden Llama and take a slight. here watching from the stadium let them know you support them let them hear you right now let's hear it for all these teams that's what i'm talking about they need your energy right here right now 10 seconds before we hop into the game don't forget it's world run that remix a single life who is going to come out on top right now it's anyone's game We'll see who out of the gate 
as they open right now. Who out of the game is going to go down? How slow are they going to take this? You can see everybody does not want to move. You can <laughs> cut the tension with the knife right now. Here, MSYB is going to be the first to go. Danyan in the back as well. Everybody staggering their players so that they know what they need to do one by one. I heard some traps. MSYB, there he goes. Gets the first couple of coins and everybody at the same time. Funky Fighters have six right now. What a run so far from MSYB. Not yeah, missing I'm a, a beat. The Funky Fighters are already off yeah. to a strong start. Oh. <gasps> no! MSYB. I just wanted to show my friend your oh, IGN. So an he can error go sub to oh. you. Okay. Reset. Yep. Take a step back. Is, let it reset. Is every single one of his teammates down in the bottom left? Yes, it is. It is all on the back of Kotu right oh now. Goodness. He's got to make it through. The, the tricky part of this is he's going to get this coin, but now he has to go back through. That's not the coin to go for then. That was not the coin to go for, but it's okay. He's committed. Come on, you have to guarantee trigger these. Do not fall. Third set. Fourth set. He's, he's through. through. Okay. Oh, dude, my heart is beating. <laughs> out of my chest right now. This is so just tense. What can you even like, he is by himself. This is the only chance. He has 11 coins right now, but that's just tied. In the castle, there's not too much danger after those spike traps. Right. So we can move forward. They have to make sure they go. grab every single coin. Meanwhile, Chicken Champions on the other side, he's got, he's by himself as well. I wonder. How many different teams have anybody alive right now? Is it really up to the Chicken Champions and the Funky Fighters right now? We'll see. They have plenty of time to work with. They can take it as slow as they possibly want. My There's goodness. the Cuddle Crew. Right They've got two. They have two. Raven's Revenge looks like they have one player as well. Okay, nice. The coin is picked up. There's only one left here. So remember, 14 is the max amount you can get before heading up to the next level. And the castle is the halfway mark. Just got word that Fish Fam actually has three people up. Only 10 coins for them. Oh. So maybe taking things slow, letting things play out, and seeing how the other teams do. Because really, the time is not of the essence in this case until the very last player. There's Fish Fam. One did go down in the meantime. This is Tyler. Suzu is down, which is crucial because he yep. was the player who was a speed demon. But again, it's not speed that matters, it's execution. Here he's going back through. Can he make it? Most dangerous part oh. of the castle. Nice re-trigger. He's through. Okay. All right. We haven't seen Cuddle Crew pick up any more coins. Maybe they're still alive. Maybe they've been eliminated. The castle, I mean, it's pretty hard to be eliminated in the castle. The only way really is in the traps there. You've got the funky fighter. Look at this. Oh, Lachlan. Oh, no. He's crying his eyes out. Wait <laughs> Guys. Guys, if you want Lachlan to go for this, you gotta give it up to him right now. If you want Lachlan to go for the jump, Lachlan, you gotta go for it. There has to be a Lachlan chant. Lachlan, Lachlan, Lachlan. Come on, you have to go. Look, but the thing is, he's talking it through his team. He's like, look, what do I have to do? What do I need to make here, right? And this is good, because remember, they have six minutes. They, like you said, they can take this as slow as possible. But again, this is gonna come down in these last few moments. So Fish Fam actually right now, they're leading the pack 15 points. That means they're up on that next tier. And there's some pretty treacherous things happening up there. There you go. <laughs> it's Sand and Tyler. They're through the castle. That's why they're all dancing right now, because they know they're starting to be at the hardest part possible, and they know nobody else is here. The jump. Based on their coins. Here we go. His teammate did okay. fall up ahead. Gets one though. There's the trap trigger. This is so difficult. He's going to start getting towards the variable impulses. Remember, he's got to make this in one. Oh. See, you see him taking that step he's back. Waiting. He's like, look, the trap's not right. Look, this isn't right. I'm way farther ahead of anybody else. He's going to wait until anybody else goes. Here's the Raven's Revenge. He's going to tie it up. There you go. In terms of place that there are, but the Raven's Revenge don't have anybody else. So he can't get to that other lane to collect those coins. 
right? Just and crucial. I mean, and, so. and don't forget, if he got here by himself, too, that means there was that extra coin, remember? Because there's two lanes. He left one behind. So there's more pressure on him right now. Oh. The scissors. That's what scissors oh did in that game before. He's going for it. He's not stopping. He does need to make sure he does beats the fish fam. You can see now Zan going at the same time. Here it is through the jumps. He's waiting a little bit. Jump. Nice. Yes. Okay, pressure's on right now, because don't forget there was a single coin behind. Sand going at the same time right now. Well, he's going for the variable impulses. One, two. Okay, makes Zan it. makes Here we it. go. Yes! One more jump! Magma makes it through the variable impulses. One of the most difficult breath. jumps. And the deep breath does come in. Magma is putting the team on his back right now. And oh. from what I can tell, Lachlan. Everybody, Lachlan's going, guys. He's going. He's got to make this jump. Does he make it? There you go. All right. Oh. So look, he's <laughs> he slides out. He's like, Ooh. At the same time, Ooh. Magma in the top left did end up getting another coin. Here goes Lachlan. Guys, give him your energy. He's going for the jump. Look, Magma, for a moment, he's doubting himself. He can't. Magma, get your head in the game. You know you can make this jump. Here we go. The jump comes out. Yes. One, he, two. He doesn't he go for the coin. the coin. He doesn't go for the coin. Well, you, Wait, you, you needed that coin. That could make the difference. Why is this team not telling you? It, it's too risky. He's, maybe he feels like it's too risky. See, he's thinking about it. Should I, should I maybe try to double back? I mean, if he gets down the ramp, he's going to have his little icy toes. He's going to slip right off. This oh. could be it. This could be the moment that makes or break their game. There's Zan too. Look, he's thinking about the same thing. He's like, should I go for this? Is this coin worth it? He has to come back through there to get up to the next stage anyways. Magma taking a huge breath. We'll have to get, see if, if you know, the status on everybody else. I, I believe these are the last two players. This is, this is, this is tough. We're getting word Lachlan has actually made it <gasps> to the, ca he has not actually not made it to the castle yet. I misspoke there. All right, here we go. Magma, great trigger. No, wait, it's okay. He oh, used the rock. The recovery. Right. They knew Gets about the it. the coin. No! And Magma is out of the game. And with that, the Ravens Revenge 2. Lachlan bouncing. He's unfortunately out of it as well. He's not eliminated yet, but Zan going for it at the same time. Here we go. He's going to go for the coin up top. He has to. He literally has to. Magma, though, he left this the coin behind. No. He, set up. he didn't grab the coin either. If he had grabbed that coin, he's thinking about, do I double back? Do I try to make that? So the, the reason he doesn't want to go is because if he, has, if he goes for the coin, he is not going to be able to get to the next thing. So they thought ahead of us, Zeke. They knew. Lachlan playing with fire. He is definitely not in this. Can he really make this with an impulse? No way. No. He's out. Yeah, he has the to. end of Lachlan, the oh, end of the cuddle crew. And it is now 21 to 21. He just needs one more coin. He needs to get that which coin. Which is more easy for him? Is it the one on this trap? Or is it the one See, back behind? You can tell he lifted the finger. He said, we need one coin. Just grab this coin right down here. If he can do this Zan, without being eliminated. Here it is. The win. Oh, he oh. missed it, but gets it with the trap trigger. The fish fam. Zan clutches up for them here. Scissors and company absolutely dominate in the last set of the world run. It wasn't domination, really, though, was it? But a clutch performance from Zans. They lost their mad scissors and Suzo early on, but everything fell on the shoulders of Zans, and he does it. This, this is shaking me to my core, because what does this mean for the standings in all three Golden Games? We saw a different winner. Funky picked up round one. Little Whip picked up round two. And now the Fish Fam picked up round three. But don't forget, Fish Fam, they had that an unbelievable time earlier on with 525. But, I mean, also, Funky Fighters, they got themselves the coins as well. So they they all have wins. It's... I'm trying to, like, think... I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to think back. To like, all how does... the different standings because Fish Fam, they had a good performance in Junkyard Ju. Absolutely, right? Right. Hands down. Here's the last moments with Zan. This moment could have won him the Creative World Cup. Think about that for a second. This could be it, man. That literally could have very well. But then the question is, what if that doesn't get them the win? Should he have kept going, right? But he just decided, look, you know what? We've got the coin. Let's end it here. What if they needed to keep going? What if they if they had gotten one more coin? Could that have made the difference? Are they already in, in, in the lead? Is there someone else? Tiebreakers matter. We'll see. Uh, okay. We'll you see. know me, man. I stress out way too hard of this. I get way <laughs> too into this. I'm sitting here with my pen, just like, what is the calculations here, Zeke? I don't even I'm know. The numbers. Oh. 
nail biting finish that's for sure all right that's we could all agree that guys did you like that finish here today zan clutching up guys they're, they're asleep they're asleep they're, they're asleep. asleep they want to know what's the happening they don't know what we're asking them i mean oh. guys here in the stadium was that not insane there you go. There you go. That You just had to ask them the right question. You asked them the wrong question. That's all it yeah, was. Yeah, I had to stick the word insane there. People yeah, go yeah. crazy for that. There it is. There it is. But first off, let's just say across the board, all of these teams performed incredibly well. Again, you know, just calling out, there was never just like one team that kind of was ahead of the pack the whole time. Fish fan was starting to get there, right? Like they were that one team that was like, wait, they were the only ones that had that insane time. But, you know, everyone really showed up in massive ways. We're going to calculate the standings. Uh, for now, Ball, I think we're going to send it actually down the stage. We've got Poogie standing by with the Fish Fam, so let's hear from them. Thank you so much, ZKM, down here with the Fish Fam. Again, I feel like I've been talking to you guys all day. Zand, you were a little late coming over to the interview. You had to put your shoes back on. Was your performance so great that you knocked your own socks off? Is that what happened there? It's all about, like, getting comfortable. Like, if you play like you play at home, you'll play better. So that's what, yeah, that's what I did. So just being completely comfortable, that's why you took your shoes off? Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it definitely works for you. You were the last one alive. What was that pressure like for you? I mean, I just took my time and did what I've done like for like the half past year through the front, and it worked out. And were your teammates coaching you through that whole thing? Yeah, they were talking to me, like, just telling me to chill, like, do whatever I want, take my time, yeah. That's awesome. It definitely makes a difference when you have such a supportive team. Now, Sid, I'm going to come to you and talk to you for just a moment. Now, this has to be an amazing moment for you, winning the death run like this. Now, how well versed are you in just having one life to live on these death runs? I mean, I feel like I did very well, but these guys are, they're the goats. They're the best. I make all these maps, and these guys are the ones breaking the world records. So I had them on my team to carry me to the victory. Well, that's what I love to see. Amazing team synergy, amazing teamwork. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations again, Zeke. Back to you. Man, what a humble team leader Scissors is. But, you know, mad respect to Zan. I, I like that he pointed out specifically, you know what? I just got to play like I'm at home. I have to get comfortable. For me, I'm the same way. You're like, right, you know, just, just take the shoes off, right? You can get comfortable, but there is no way that this feels like home. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that this feels like home. And with the pressure, you, you never have that kind of experience. That is a once-in-a-lifetime thing to do. That's just yeah. crazy. But also to have his team there, right? They had his back. They were yep. lifting him up saying, look, take your time. In fact, speaking of team, we actually have a listen-in. Let's go back and relive that moment, but from their perspective. Get up there, left side. Left side. Left side. Left side. Yep. Left side. You're good. AFK. Nice. Yeah. Coin. I like that. No, I like that. Okay. I like that. Okay. 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 Yeah. Wait. No. Go back. Get that coin. No. 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 